Hello and welcome to the Beauty Saga. Today I have a really exciting lip swatch and review video of the brand new Hard Candy Wet Evers. I managed to get my hands on all seven of the brand new bold and glossy shades. So if you want to see my review of this product and the lip swatch party of all seven shades, just please keep watching. This is my third lip swatch party this week. I did the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquids. I got all 10 of the brand new shades. And I also did the Hard Candy Velvet Mousses. There are seven new shades of those. So I will leave the link below in the description box if you are interested in seeing those videos. I'll link them down below for you. This is genius, and this is a very deep rose of the entire collection. This is the most neutral shade. This is selfish, and this is a beautiful hibiscus pink. and this is a beautiful bright raspberry. This is devious and this is a bright and very true red. This is famous and this is a beautiful deep berry. This is Temptress, and this is a red undertone vamp color. It's like a deep burgundy.
is entitled and it is a deep wine vamp color but surprisingly there's a lot of purple hues that are really vibrant for it being such a dark vampy color as you can see from the lip swatch video these gloss lip they're called bold hold lip lacquers are insanely pigmented these are a brand new lip product to hard candy for 2017 and i honestly really hope they release even more shades because i am in love with these as I said earlier, this was my third lip swatch video this week, so my lips are chapped. And these glosses just glide right over it and they smoothed out. There's no lines, no texture, nothing. They just look like perfect glass. The Hard Candy Whatever Bold Hold Lip Lacquers are exclusive to Walmart. They retail for $6 there. They come in the cutest little tins. They're all black and then there's like different paint like dripping down in whatever color it holds inside. I really love these tins. When you open them up, there is a mirror up here, which you can use to, of course, apply your lipstick when you're on the go. It has this cute velvet like holder for your lipstick to go into, and then you can just pop your lip gloss in its little like case or coffin, however you want to see it, and then take it on the go. The actual lip product itself has the glass has like these dripping down effects. I'm actually gonna get in close here so you can see the the dripping detail on the bottle. It looks like the plastic's like melting down. These little tubes hold six grams of product and then I think it's 6.3 grams of product. Yeah, 6.3 grams of product and then they have a really nice like scooped doe foot applicator so you can get your entire lip covered with one dip in as I showed in the lip swatch video and I'm actually gonna get in here so you can see it's not quite a flattened doe foot applicator like the velvet mousses it is a little bit of a scoop so it holds a bit more product which is really nice so let's talk about the formula. As I said, they are incredibly moisturizing and they cover up all the unsightliness that is my chapped lips right now, which I'm in love with. They are high shine. When I saw them, they claim to be long wearing. And when I saw them, I was a little bit like, mm, I don't know, is that gonna hold up? And in my opinion, yeah, these are some of the longest wearing glossy products I own. I was sort of expecting them to be like the NYX Intense Butter Glosses, but they are, in my opinion, more pigmented than those, and they are definitely longer wearing than those. The shade range is really bold. These are statement lips. But if you love glossy lips, you're always reaching for a lip gloss to throw over your lipstick, these are definitely for you. They can transfer onto everything, including your teeth. And the only, there's two things I'm gonna mention that could be problematic about these. They definitely run outside the lip line so I would strongly recommend wearing a lip liner with them to prevent bleeding and the second thing is is sort of an issue but not really it's a preference thing they get more sticky as you wear them not to the point that your lips are held together like glue and you're like but um you definitely start to notice at least I do that they're getting stickier now I think because of that they wear down really evenly so I actually like 
that aspect of them, but if you hate sticky gloss, these will get sticky on you. These don't really smell like much of anything. There's just like the faintest chemical scent, but once it's on your lips, I don't even notice it at all. The Velvet Mousse Lip Creams have a really strong like vanilla cupcake frosting scent. Overall, I think these are really nice. They have the best packaging. They are a really nice, long wearing, glossy lipstick type product and they wear really evenly and at $6, I think they're definitely worth the price. If you are a hard candy fan, make sure you're subscribed because I got the matte mix and drops, the bronzer mix and drops, and the radiance mix and drops, and the review for this is coming up really soon. I really hope that you found this review helpful. Let me know down in the comments which color is your favorite. And if you have any other kind of questions or comments, leave those down below for me and I will be sure to get back to you. I'm on Instagram. I have a Facebook page, I have a Twitter, and I have Snapchat. It's at the Beauty Saga for all social media. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I can't tell you what it means to me, and I really, really hope I'm gonna see you on my next video. Bye!